Welcome again. We are now making laundry and dishwasher soap. You will not believe me. I discovered this amazing thing. I made the laundry um, soap and I thought I'm, I'll try it in my dishwasher and it works absolutely perfectly. So that's why it says laundry soap and dishwasher soap. It's the same recipe and it makes amazing dishwasher washer soap. What you need to make it is pure, pure soap, like soap that I've made before, and I grated it. So you need 5.5, more or less, 6 ounces of soap. You need soda ash, um, which is an in ingredient for, um, for wash, uh, washing powder as well, and borax. And we, I'm going to now melt this quickly. And then we'll add the other ingredients. I've got five cups of boiling water. And we're going to melt it in there. This is so amazing. When you use it as dishwashing soap, you just add some vinegar to your um, rinsing aid dispenser. And it will rinse it absolutely beautifully clean. If you look at the slide that I, I'll show you quickly. The, I took this picture of the dishes and they are absolutely sparkling. The glass is pure, pure, sparkling, clear and nothing else has any stain on it. Or it's just perfect. That saves you a lot of money. It saves you a lot of money as washing soap and laundry soap and also as dishwasher soap. Very easy to make and it's fun to make. We're now melting it as you can see. It's a normal pure soap. Now here, if you're going to use your soap for, um, for laundry, you can actually lower the super fatting. If you can remember, I spoke about super fatting. If you have, if every oil, everything has been incorporated in the soap, um, you have 0% super fatting, so there's no extra oil. If you want it as a skin, um, moisturizer then you add a little bit of extra oil and that'll be super fatting so for laundry soap you're not going to need this extra oil in your soap you just start at one or naught percent super fatting and you'll have a good laundry soap but you can use your normal soap as well it works just as well so we are now melting it and you can see and this is also uh, if you do this and you add this to a, a normal dispenser for hand soap, you can use this as a liquid soap. It works pretty well as a liquid soap. It's melting nicely. Once it's melted, we will remove it from the heat and we will add borax, one cup. Where is this opening? There. Can't find it. <laughs> There, <laughs> borax and soda ash. One cup each. So we will wait till all that is melted and we will add it. And then we will use a stick blender when, when, once it's slightly cooler. We won't blend it when it's really hot. We'll blend it when it's cooler and then we will... I'll show you. It's a beautiful soap. If you look in, inside this bottle, this is the consistency of the dishwasher soap or the laundry soap. I'll show you with a spoon. It's nice and soft and like gel. And this is perfect. Just perfect. Okay, now the soap is melted and we are going to remove it from the stove and we will add the borax and the soda ash. One cup each. And borax, there's a controversy about borax. Some people say it's bad for you, but there's a lot of evidence that it is not dangerous. It's boric acid that is the problem, but not borax. Right. 
And now we will stir it until it's dissolved. And then I will have to wait until it's cooler and then we'll blend it. And then once it's cooler, you can also add your essen essential oil. The essential oil that I use is um, lemongrass. It's a wonderful fragrance for your, wash for your washing, your laundry, and also for your dishwasher. It's really fresh and, f and beautiful scent. I will stir it until it's completely dissolved and then we'll let it cool down and then when we come back I'll blend it. Right now our mixture has cooled down, it's partly solidified and we are going to blend it now. Once this has been blended and the temperature is below 40 degrees, we will add our essential oils, about two teaspoons of essential oil. You can add more if you like a very strong fragrance, but two teaspoons is good. dispense it into a, a bottle and when you use this for your laundry you'll use about two to three tablespoons per wash if you you can also use this as a spot remover you just put some on your spot on your stain and rub it and then wash it if you use it as a dishwashing um, soap you use only one teaspoon that's plenty. It washes it perfectly clean with one teaspoon. And you will see that this will last for a very long time. So happy experimenting, happy blending, happy making soaps and creams and all sorts of nice things. And I hope you enjoy it. May God bless you. Goodbye. <laughs>